Hey everyone, it's me, Yellow, and welcome to the second episode of my Minecraft Education Edition series. Um, <clears throat> it has actually been a while for me, but today we're going to be looking at chlorides. So, as you remember from over here, the elements we didn't use last time was, well, practically all of them except hydrogen, carbon, and helium, because we were making a balloon. So then you're probably wondering what are the rest of these elements used for. Well... Today, we are going to be making multicolored torches. Now, to do that, you need four different kinds of chlorines. Chlorides, in fact. Now, chlorine is 17 on the periodic table, so it has 17 <coughs> protons, 17 electrons, and around 20 neutrons. There we go. Then we need potassium. It's the same number of neutrons, but 19 for protons and electrons. Then Next one is cesium, which is always quite a difficult one. It's a lanthanoid. Now that's 58, I think. And you'll know because it's a CE on a purple background. I think it's about like 90, no, 84. CE on a purple background, a pink background, in fact. And then you have uh, 74 for tungsten. This is around 109. And then finally, very easy one is 80 for mercury. Now this is around, I think, 119 or 116, there we go. Now, now that we have all of these, we need to make the chlorine, the chlorines. Now the best, now it, it's always just one, one of each element except for chlorine. So with potassium, you only need one, and then there you go, potassium chloride. Then with cesium, no, it's not cesium, cerium. You need you need only one cerium and two chlorines, I think. No, it's three chlorines. Yeah, okay, two chlorines is for mercury. That's tungsten. Mercury. There we go. And then we need six chlorines for tungsten. And there is actually one more chlorine that will come on to chloride, in fact, when we do making sparklers. Now, that one makes an orange sparkler. But of course, you can't make an orange torch because that already exists. It's called a torch. Okay, so now we're looking for just a regular torch. And then you put the chlorine above. Now, cerium chloride makes a blue torch, I think. Blue torch, yep. Uh, potassium chloride makes a purple torch. There we go. Tungsten chloride makes a green torch, suggesting that finally mercury chloride makes a red torch. Exactly. Now, if I'll just clear my inventory real quick. Now, with the coloured torches, they just behave like normal torches, um, but they won't survive underwater, right, which is quite annoying. Well, in fact, no torch can survive underwater except for an underwater torch that we're about to make. Also, you might have noticed that the particle colour of the flame uh, is different for each and every single torch. Now, such torches like these do exist in real life, because if you were to put like potassium over a flame, uh, the flame would then turn purple. But now we're going to make one more torch. Now, this torch requires, hang on, um, I think sodium. I'm not exactly sure. I think sodium was for another underwater item, which we'll come on to in another episode. Uh, so sodium is 11. It might be magnesium. I'll actually grab some magnesium as well. And magnesium is 12, which is quite helpful. So there's sodium. And there's magnesium. Okay, now we need a torch for this. No, it's not that. There it is. It is, is magnesium. I'm actually surprised it was magnesium. I thought, because that magnesium is used in sparklers. No, wait a minute. No, it isn't. Magnesium is used in making really, really bright torches. Like if you've ever seen Victorian style torches, they like set off a light which is basically magnesium. 
Here we go, the underwater torch. It's green and produces weird sparks. And also has like a metal rod instead of a wooden one. And to prove it, let's get some water. And put it right there. Completely safe, sort of. Yeah, look at the destruction in this area. I blame, of course, Jay and maybe Brandon. I doubt Brandon did any of this. It was probably Jay because he's the one who likes to do an awful lot of filling with TNT. All right, this will do for now. If you place an underwater torch there, fine. Completely fine, even though it does this weird block thing around it. Wait, hang on, does that mean... You can technically breathe under these torches. That's how. That's really cool. And if you were to place just a normal torch down there, you can't. All right, I have to go. Thank you so much for watching. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't want to play MC. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's absolute muppet. Probably like a parcel. I ordered a voice changer.